Welcome to another Pi Game Pi production. Um, that's kind of annoying. Anyways, so here's my um uh, third cancer blog. That's weird. The screen capture area is kind of weird. Anyways, so I I went down to the primary children's hospital today down in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, yes. The, I was told I would be going to Huntsman's at first, but in the description of the last video, I kind of explained that I, I was a little high in the last video and wasn't exactly completely sure as to what I was saying, so sorry about that. But anyways, so yes, I am being seen at the primary children's hospital um, because... It's the hospital that's in our network down there, and the Huntsman isn't, but it's the exact same, the doctor is the exact same person in the team I will be, um, seen by, are the exact same people and whatnot, as the people I'd be seen with, by at the Huntsman, so yeah, it'll, it's just gonna cost us to get, go through the primary children's hospital. But I really like the Primary Children's Hospital because it is very colorful inside and whatnot. Because it's for little kids, it's pretty awesome. Like, like um, when I went to see one of my doctors, the nurse kept asking me if I wanted snacks and stuff because they treat little kids and kids love snacks. And so that was pretty cool. I can just get like snacks and stuff. So yeah, I don't mind being seen at ch don't mind that at all. Anyways, so. Here's a couple of my doctors. So this this first one right here is his name is um Dr. Randall. He is my main doctor and it's pretty cool cuz he's the doctor over the whole cancer division department thingy. And and so he's got a lot of uh a lot of um power or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's pretty cool cuz I um, at first, all my scans were at this uh, Riverton Hospital, and some of them were going to be spread out between like today and tomorrow and stuff. But he made some calls and was able to get all my all my scans in today at the Primary Children's Hospital. It was really nice because we just just went through them real quick and and were done with them. So yeah, my my first scan was another um, pelvis CT scan, um, and then they did a chest CT scan and a and an MRI. I don't know anything about the MRI at this point, but um, we did get the information back about the chest CT scan, and there and the cancer has gotten into my lungs, but it's not gonna it shouldn't cause me any other further issues because they're it's very small and she she said that if um they were to do an x-ray of my chest um most most of it wouldn't even come up on the x-ray because it's really small so it shouldn't cause any breathing problems or coughing or anything well uh, they may have to just surgically remove um that those little tumors in my lungs at but at the very end we don't we aren't really gonna they ain't gonna do anything with that anytime soon and they may shrink with the chemo we'll just have to wait and wait and see and they may go away um so yeah oh and this guy's pretty cool because we actually got lost going to the other doctor we had we got really turned around and whatnot and everything and so we went back to his office and was like asking the the secretaries or whatever where we were supposed to go and and he actually met us out in the hall and actually walked walked us to where we were supposed to go because we were really lost so yeah he's pretty cool has lots of power got us through everything really quick we really, really like him Okay, so my second doctor, I mean, so, like, this guy does all, like, um, is on top of, like, all the surgery stuff, 
Um, I'll be getting into that a bit later. Um, so here, I don't have a picture of her, but here's here's the name of my other doctor, uh, Jennifer A. Wright, Dr. Wright. Um, she is doing all the chemo stuff. Um, she's very nice too, gave me lots of information about everything that's going to happen. And uh, she's the one that told us about my lungs and whatnot. Um, she, but yeah, she seems very nice too. She's she's used to working with like super little kids. Um, the nurse that was that I was talking about with the snacks and stuff, she's really nice too. And and, and she's the nurse with this this doctor. Um, but yeah, everybody's really nice up there and whatnot. And I've, I've been really enjoying it overall. I got really tired of like, uh, you know, talking and seeing people and everything, and um, like, the car ride, like, up there and back was, uh, wasn't wasn't terribly fun. I slept most of the way, so it wasn't horribly bad, but yeah, just just tiring. So I'm glad to be back home. My cat was really glad to be back home. I I was gonna show you guys her, but. Because she was laying with me, but she wandered off somewhere. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Um, so, um, oh yeah, so, so today I got the, the scans and whatnot, and met all my doctors and stuff. Um, and then, to, uh, I don't have anything tomorrow. That's why I'm back home. But Thursday, I have to go back up and... I'm actually gonna have surgery because they're going to take a biopsy to make sure it's 100% cancer, cancerous. But they're also going to put in this port thing. I'm not completely sure if you can see, but it's a it's a port that that goes in your chest right here. And it's hooked to one of your large arteries. And what and it goes right underneath the skin. Um, and it just makes it easier to do IVs and stuff, cause, cause you just stick this needle right into that, and it's just, and then it connects to the, to the um the large vessel, blood vessel. And so it makes IVs a lot easier, cause you don't have to look for the vein and stuff. And I hear. And the Dr. Wright told me, or no, the nurse told me that um, when you put the put the needle in, you don't really feel in any pain. You just feel like the pressure of it going in. So it's it's not really painful. And, and like with this this port, I can it just right underneath the skin, so I can still like shower and and like if I want to swim and do stuff, I I can. Um, so yeah, they're going to be putting this in Thursday, which is pretty cool because I got to tell everybody that this is the first step for of me becoming a cyborg, just telling everybody, letting everybody know that I will eventually be a cyborg, and this is the first step, I swear. Got that? Okay. Just, just letting every, making sure everybody knows that this is the first step becoming a cyborg. Okay, anyways. Um, I don't know. Here, uh, see, I guess if you didn't see that, let me, um, IV port. See if we can find the picture of it. Picture, 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 picture. Um, so yeah, like, like here's one right here under the skin like it's just a bump it's got like it's got like three bumps on the top of it so you can know where like the middle is and stuff but yeah it's just right under the skin so yeah like just stick the needle through your skin into it and and so and it just makes it easier for an IV right here that's what it like would look like with the IV thing on it. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Again, first step to becoming a cyber. Okay, so um, 
So yeah, I'm doing that on Thursday. The weird, um, like my voice not going with the video. It didn't record my the sound for some reason on the second video, or the second portion of the video. Anyways, on Friday, I will then be doing a bone scan to scan all my bones to see if the tiger. Stop being. Stop it. Brett. Sorry, my cat's being Brett. Anyways. Um, they're doing a bone scan so that they can look at all my bones and see if the cancer has spread anywhere else. Hopefully it hasn't. So yeah, um, then about my treatments. My treatments, I will be doing chemo at Primary Children's Hospital and I'll be there about like two to three, like three, three days and two nights each time and then I'll have like a week off for like three days off um I'm not completely sure about that yet but yeah so I'll have to stay there up there for two like three days doing chemo and then I'll come back home um and then so yeah that that's what's happening with with the treatment Sorry, I'm a little tired. It's it's kind of early. Um, so then, so stop it. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, again, sorry about this. My cat's being a brat, and I'm tired. Um. Um, so my, my doctor is pretty cool, Dr. Randall, told you about him a little in the, in the first part of this video, but yeah, um, he, he's had the most, um, experience with dealing with my type of cancer and during, like, surgeries in, in that area that it's in, oh yeah, that was another thing I was going to tell you about like treatment and stuff I'm going to be doing chemo for a few months and then they'll um, do some surgery on it to remove the cancerous bone I'm guessing I'm not completely sure about either I'm, I'm guessing they're just removing the cancerous bone from like around my pelvis or something like that I'll get more details later on um, and then I'll have to do chemo for for quite a long time after that just to make sure it doesn't come the cancer doesn't come back and we got it all and everything and so it'll be about a year a year long um so yeah you know my doctor's had like the most experience with this and whatnot um and he's really nice I can't remember I said this already, but yeah, me and mom got lost in primary children's, and so we went back to, like, where his office is or whatever, and asked to, uh, asked the, like, secretaries or whatever, um, where we were supposed to be going, and he actually, they actually told us that he had meet us in the hall, and, and that he'd walk us down there himself, so he did that, and so that was pretty cool. Yeah, he's really nice, pretty cool guy. Um, another person I want to talk about is the person that did my MRI. He's really cool. He is really friendly. I'm really good with kids and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I wasn't supposed to have my MRI until four o'clock, but he he saw that he noticed that I was supposed to have one at 4 o'clock and, and I was laying on the floor and he came over and was like I know I had somebody out here laying on the floor so he started talking to us and and he he was like hey do you want to just come in right now and just get, get the MRI done real quick 
And so, so we decided to just do it then and there. So we just, just uh, switched our time and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if there was like other people he was supposed to be doing or whatever, but he, he just, he just um, he just pushed us into that slot and got it done real quick. Um, during the MRI, I got to watch Hunger Games and stuff. Well, Hunger Games, that was pretty cool. They had, like, weird mask to watch it with. Was, um, when we are walking to the room, he asked me what my name was, and I was like, it's Derek. And his name was Derek. He was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Is it spelled right? And so I look at his name tag, and see that's spelled the same way, D-E-R-E-K. And... I was all like, yep, the exact same way. He's like, oh, good. I I don't like those moms that don't know how to spell flipping, um, flipping spelling it with like two R's or an I or a C K. It, just so weird. People got weird spellings. So yeah, it, it, he was pretty funny and whatnot. Um. So yeah, that was cool. He just got us in real quick. And then, since I'm more comfortable laying on my stomach for long periods of time, he actually let me lay on my stomach when while doing the MRI. So and so when he was putting me in into it, he 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 was like, "Hmm, so feet first, laying down on your stomach. It's a bit unconventional, but what? what oh well, whatever works." That yeah, was pretty funny. Um, so, um, and then in, in the video I said something about my glasses, I was like, um, uh, you, you may have noticed I'm wearing my glasses in this video because I want to look like a smarts person, like, well, I am a smarts person, you know, I, I want to look the part, whatever, um, mm. Oh, and then I show you my cat at some point and tell you tell you that she's kind of being a brat at the moment. But yeah, she's she's been um, spending lots of time with me and like sleeping with me and stuff, cuddling up next to me. My mom says she probably knows there's something going on with me, so she's like protecting me. Cause every now and then, when somebody comes around me, she'll she like hiss at them and whatnot and get mad. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 been nice to me though. Um uh, I think I think that's everything. I think I've covered everything and whatnot. Again I'm kinda of sleepy right now. Sorry about that. Um, I can't completely re remember what I went over in the second portion. Um, I, th I think I've matched about the the length of the video pretty close. Um, oh yeah, uh, if you have any questions, put it, put it in the comments. I'll either reply in the comments or... In my next next video of any any um questions you might have for me. Um so yeah. Uh I'll make be making the the next video pretty soon probably. But maybe during the weekend something. So yeah, I'll I'll see you next time.